On the tech line here at Airtex, we receive calls where the customer believes they have proper voltage at the pump because they can hear the pump run. But what they do not understand is a slight loss of voltage to the pump creates a huge drivability issue. Here we are in AirTex's product development area. And what we're here to show you is the relationship between pressure, volume, and voltage. We have a pump in this tester. And what we're going to show is we're running at 13 and a half volts. And you can see that we're running about 200, 210 liters per hour. This pump is operating under no pressure. It's just flowing fluid. What we will do is we'll add pressure by restricting the flow. And this, in essence, is your pressure regulator on your vehicle. And we're going to dial this pressure up to about 40 PSI. You'll notice we're still running at 13 half volts. We're running at 40 PSI, but the liters per hour has dropped down to about 160. What effect does low voltage have on that? We'll reduce the voltage by about a volt. And you see now we're down to about 150 liters per hour. But we've lost approximately 4 PSI. We'll reduce the voltage again by another volt. And now we're down to about 30 PSI and the liters per hour is down to about 140. Because of this just 2 volt drop, the vehicle may exhibit drivability issue of hard start, poor acceleration. Many other things can be created by low voltage. Keep in mind, the pump that we're using today is a new pump, and it's more than capable of operating the vehicle properly. If we add the two volts back to the pump, then again, our pressure is back to 40, and our flow is up to 160. As you can see, by just replacing the pump in a low voltage situation, it's not going to fix your drivability issue. Here we have a fuel system simulator that we've created here at AirTech. With this, this allows us to look at voltage and how it affects flow and pressure of the system. At 13 and a half volts, we're running around 44 gallon per hour and 57 PSI. Now let's lower that by a volt and see what happens. You can see with the loss of a volt, we're still running 57 PSI, but we lost about four gallon per hour. So we're lowered again by another volt. With the loss of two volts, We've only lost basically one PSI, but we've lost about seven gallon per hour. Because of the design of this system, we're going to see the pressure maintain until the volume gets extremely low. So if we put a pressure gauge on this system, and that's all we do, we would assume the system was good. But because of the low flow, you could experience drivability issues under medium to heavy throttle demand. As before, replacing the pump in this situation is not going to solve your drivability issues. We need to be sure and check the voltage going to the pump. By performing a simple voltage drop test, you can rule out the possibility of a voltage problem in the fuel system. 